Every day both of us field phone calls on how to tan and how to prepare skins through the tanning process. And these are going to be, we're going to show you some of the steps on how to do it. First step we're going to cover is the dry salted skins. Now that process there, Mark, the number one, is probably the most important process, I think, or step that a guy needs to make sure that he knows how to do properly. And there are instructional videos out there that a guy can get to learn the proper process on that. Sure, sure. Step two is going to be the rehydration process. Rehydration bath is a very valid point before you can move on to the process. Step three, we're going to go with pickling. We're going to show you how to make pickles. A couple different kinds of pickles, how long to pickle, how to read a skin, how to know if it's uh, been pickled plenty. We'll show you the shaving, demonstrate how to shave a skin once it's prepared and ready to, uh, for shaving. After you're shaving, we'll do a repickle, double check the skin, make sure it's ready to go on to the next step for neutralizing. Once you neutralize the skin, then you'll rinse it, drain well, and then we're going to go right on to the tanning process. Sounds like a simple process. Sure. Mark, I noticed that the skin looks like it's drained now. And I also noticed that you brought some kits today for us. Um, would you explain to me what you have here? Sure. Uh, we have tanning kits available. Uh, a lot of people want to learn how to get started and learn how to do the tanning. In these tanning kits, today we're going to be using the Liquitan process. Okay. And with Liquitan process, uh, in this kit you're going to see a, a pound and a half of the citric acid. So you're going to have a pound and a half citric acid. You're going to have the Liquitan. And you're going to have the softening oil. We'll, we'll demonstrate on each one of these steps when to apply it and how to use it. Also, you'll have a list of instructions in the box. So for the most part, when the citric acid, what you're going to end up doing, we'll demonstrate on how to mix the pickle mm -hmm. and uh, give you the measurements. Okay. Now this kit here, it's a Paratan kit? That's Paratan, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And this basically has what in it? That Paratan kit will virtually have the same thing. It'll have, it'll have only it's a little bit different. This is a submersible type tan right here. And basically what you got here, you're going to have the citric acid. Citric acid is going to be for rehydrate or for pickling your skin. You're going to have the tan. This is a submersible type tan. So a lot of people like to do a submersible type Soap tan. tan. Soap tan. Soap tan, yeah. So, uh, you know, it's, and it's, it's a very effective way of doing it. A lot of people use this. They'll use it uh, a lot of different ways. Uh, this is, you know, again, these skin, this, these tanning kits will tan anything that you got. Right. From squirrels Most to important zebras. thing is the directions. Directions are in the bottom of the box. And right. You got a bottle of softening oil here as well. Now we got our at water in there. We're going to use approximately, like I said, we're going to run roughly five gallons. So what we want to do is we'll also maintain a pH of 1.5 to 2.2. So here in our citric acid pickle, it shows two to three ounces of citric acid, one pound of salt, and you want to have a pH 1.5 to 2.2. Now keep in mind, this is times five. So there'll be three times five, be 15 ounces of the citric acid, and uh, be five pounds of uh, salt. So here we go, we're gonna add our salt. We already know that this salt, this cup right here, measures one pound. So we're gonna put five of these in. And then we also need to put in our citric acid. This is gonna be, our, now we already pre-measured this, but this is going to be our citric acid for 15 ounces. And that's the idea, that's the actual whole idea of the, of the pickling process here. Is what you're going to look at is take this skin, you're going to put it in that acid, and that's, what that acid's going to do is it's going to, yeah, it's going to help set the hair, and it's going to also swell that membrane up of that skin. And once it starts swelling that skin, what you're going to end up doing is it's going to swell it, and then you're going to allow you to freeze your shaving. Right. Okay? It'll knock down some of the proteins in the skin, the collagen. It's going to take it out and allow you to have better tanning sites in your skin. Okay, Mark. What does the pickle do to the skin? Pickle, uh, the pickle will actually help you draw the, draw the uh, skin up, swell it up, and it'll allow you to shave it. Okay. Does it take natural oils and items out of the skin? Yes, it does. It helps take, break down the collagen, helps break down some of the thick membrane of the skin. Take your skin. Obviously, you want to do it very carefully so you're not splashing acid all over the place. Again, this is, you know, this, this pickles citric acid, it's really a good way to pickle the skin. Now, keep in mind, in this tanning kit, we have enough product here to tan you a couple deer capes. This is just standard deer cape. <clears throat> just put your, put your deer skin in there, push it down real good. Now, what you want to do is, once you get your deer skin placed down in there, <clears throat> just keep, make sure you got it pushed down in there. Now, you always want to stir it, kind of stir your deer skin around. 
Just we want to get all the air out of this can. Yeah, get all the air out. And keep in mind, and over the next course of a few days, if you leave this skin in there, you can leave this skin in there for three, four, or five days, whatever right. you need to do. You just need to make sure that you keep checking the pH, and you have the pH of 1.5 to 2.2. Skin will pickle up to three, but the problem is you might get a little bit of bacteria problems yeah. in there. And it know. takes longer for that skin to be completely pickled. Yes, that is correct. So let's check our pH. Just rip a little piece off. There's two different ways you can check pH. You can check pH by checking your solution to your water. Put that in there. You hold that up, and it shows that we got a pH of 1.5. Hey Mark, what I have here is a, is a small unit, handheld unit, or you can set it up on this vise. This is a Tilly Meyer machine. Um, an awesome unit. It's air driven, uh, has a regulator, an oiler, a foot feed to run the unit. Comes with a, a typical blade, just like the large blade. Okay. It's a rolled over edge mm -hmm. that is used on mammals. You can use it on absolutely anything, you know, fish, reptiles, and so forth. Also a serrated blade, which is recommended for reptiles, you know, and you can use this on mammals also. And it's used the same exact way as a large machine. So let me demonstrate a little bit of how to use this. And a lot of guys will use a big machine on the bulk of the cape, and they'll have a small machine for around the face. So we'll, we'll, sure. I'll show you how it works. This unit runs on 60 to 80 pounds of pressure. Of course, you can regulate it. Um, but here's how it goes. Show me how you apply this. Okay, uh, what I've simply done is I put about roughly about four ounces of liquid tan here in a cup. You can put you can either put it on the skin or, or work it across. Some people don't like you know if you put it on your ears that's fine. If you're getting ready to mount it, you can wipe the ears with some acetone. You know that way you get your just prior to mounting, yeah, you put the oil get out. You, get, get to get your hide paste or you know your ears to stick. Just put a little bit on the face, around the eyes, lips. And the areas that's thicker, it's obviously it's going to take a little bit more. But uh, all you need is, is just enough to coat the skin, really. Okay, Mark, with the pear tan, the submersible tans, we go through all the same techniques and everything we did with the liquid tan product. Is that right? Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Yeah, let me show you here. You always want to dry salt the skins, same, same process. You go dry salt the skins. You're going to go through the rehydration process, okay? Rehydrate your skin really good. You're going to go to your pickle bath. You're going to flesh, shave, and repickle. Uh, after you repickle, if you need to reshave it, that's fine. Uh, if it's, uh, uh, like I said, a fox or a raccoon or a bear or something, that's when you want to degrease it. Degrease it real good. And then after, at the end of that process, I do my process a little bit different than a lot of other people do. <clears throat> After I go to the pickle, I'll go right to your tans, okay? Uh, notice I will come to the neutralizing afterwards. Yes. The tan. Yeah. I do mine a little bit different. When I, go, when I do a submersible type tan, I'll go from the pickle to the submersible tan. So you mix your tan up, soak your skins for 16 to 24 hours. A lot of people, a little bit less if it's a little bit thinner right. skin type animal. Uh, mm -hmm. Neutralize at the end of the tan, for two to four hours, drain well, and then we oil. What, Lutan F also. With the, the comparisons between the two products, uh, Lutan is a product that, you know, it, it, it's got excellent shelf life. You know, I mean, it's, it, you know, it, it can last up probably as long as the Paratan will. Mm -hmm. uh, the Paratan is a synthetic type tan, okay? This is, uh, this is, this is like a chloride type tan, I guess, is what they call it. And, so that's kind of your difference. A lot of people like synthetics. A lot right. of people like the lutan. Um, yeah, on the board, this is going to be the process that we're going to go. It's going to be a lot of the same ways as like we did the paratan. You know, you're going to weigh your skin, and you're going to say, okay, well, we got five pounds of skin. So we're going to go the same same number. Five pounds of skin for your lutan figures out roughly to their measurements. They said 10% of mm -hmm. your skin weight. Uh, 10 to 13 ounces of lutan. You use four gallons of water one and a half pounds of salt. Again, I'll take the one gallon water, make it warmer than the other three, mix up the salt and the lutan in it, 
That way it dissolves it really good. Same method. Mix it with the rest of the water. You don't ever want your tanning baths probably any warmer than about 80 degrees. Okay. Uh, then you're going to submerse it. You're going to soak the skin 16 to 24 hours. Okay. Then after the, at the end of that, see when you put your skins in there from the pickle, skins are going to be about a pH probably three or so, you know, right. somewhere around there. Be probably coming out. So your skins are going to have a little bit more of an acid content to them when you're tanning, and that's fine. We that's kind of what we suggest with our tans. Uh, so what what you'll end up doing is you run your skins in there. At the end of your tan, that's when you're going to neutralize at the end, two to four hours. Add your baking, pull your skin up out of solution. Add your baking soda. Bring the pH of your tan up. Say if your t pH your tan is going to be at six, your skin's only going to probably reach a five. All right. So that's kind of a safe range, you know. Kind of check it. Once you get a process set, it'll be the same every time. Run your skins two to four hours. Pull them out. Drain well. Okay. So you've tanned them. You've neutralized them. You're going to drain them real good.